We're in Microsoft PowerPoint and we want to learn how to bring bullet points in one at a time. Your first step is to select the bullet points. So you can do that by dragging over the bullet points or you can click on the border of the placeholder and that will select everything in the placeholder. Now, once the bullet points are selected, you go up to the animations tab on your ribbon and you need to select an animation. Now for an entrance animation, you need to go for the green animations up here and there are more down here. So let's go for a peer. And what you'll notice is, is that it then displays numbers down the side of your bullet points. Now, having experimented with this, sometimes you'll get a sequence of numbers and sometimes you'll get the same number all the way down the list of bullet points. So you'll either get a series of ones or you get one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you're lucky enough to get a series of numbers or a sequence of numbers, then you're good to go. For example, if I do Shift F5 on my keyboard and then click, then you'll see that as I click through the presentation, the bullet points appear one at a time. Now, what if you don't get a sequence of numbers and you just get a series of ones, then you've probably seen the option that I've already used. If I go to effect options here, change the setting from all at once to by paragraph and you'll get a sequence of numbers down the side of your bullet points. And once again, if I go into Shift F5 and click through the bullet points, they appear one at a time. Now, sometimes you do not get these options with some of these animations. So if that's the case, what you need to do, if I just take the animation off, is you open up this animation pane. Now, the animation pane is over here on the right of the screen. And if you click on this little expand button here, you'll see all the bullet points. Now, what you need to do is select all the bullet points. So you click on the first one, shift, click on the last one. And then in this start drop down, you just need to select on click. And then you'll see that the numbers change down here to one, two, three, four, five. And we know that that will bring in each bullet point one at a time. Now, the other thing I wanted to look at is where we have sub bullet points. So I'm just going to put some sub bullet points in. Now, I want these sub bullet points to also come in one at a time with a click. And if I select this placeholder and apply by paragraph, what you'll notice is, is that one click brings on the main bullet point together with its sub bullet points. I'll prove that's the case. So we want to bring on the sub bullet points one at a time. Now to do that, make sure your placeholder is selected and you need to make sure the animation pane is open. And then you don't have to have this expanded. You can have it collapsed, but you go to this little drop down menu button here, and then you go to effect options. Under text animation, you change your group text setting. So because I've only got one level of sub bullet points, I can just choose by second level paragraphs. If you had sub sub bullet points, you would choose by third level paragraphs. Click on OK. And now you can see it's changed the numbering down the side here. I'll do Shift F5 to preview the animation. You can see that that works just nicely. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next video.